Hey everybody, I'm just here to demonstrate something that I found a couple years ago. I found this vulnerability in 2016 where uh, pretty much if someone sends you a text message uh, and you have a Verizon phone running Message Plus, which is the default SMS application, Message Plus will pre prefetch uh, any URL you give it. Uh, so you can pretty much make the phone go and I, I don't want to say fully download a web page or an image or whatnot, but at the very least, it will reach out to a server without the user knowing. Um, and if a person wanted to, say, get your IP address of your phone, wherever you're at in the world, they could send you a, uh, a message that uh, links back to a server they have control over, um, and then they can get your IP address. So um, you can read about it on my blog, crunkcomputing.com. And you will see why the tape is in the way. <laughs> uh, this is just a quick test to show you uh, how to do this. So basically, I'm just sending a URL to my phone. Um, each phone has an SMS email address. If you have a Ryzen phone, it'll be your phone number at vzwpix.com. And I'm showing you this way um, because I don't want to go into Gmail and um, you know show all the messages that I have. But you can basically go into your any email application you have, Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail, whatever people use nowadays. Uh, just send uh, a URL to your or uh, to someone else's uh, SMS phone number email address. If that doesn't make it, <laughs> it kind of makes sense. Uh, and they'll get an SMS message and the phone will actually prefetch that URL so you can get their, uh, so you can actually get their IP address. So just kind of to show you how I'm going to do this. So I'm tailing my log on my web server, croncomputing.com. And here I'm just going to send out this message. Uh, that's actually my phone number right there. That's why have the the ghetto tape over it so I just sent myself a text message and we will watch the log it usually takes a minute oh just got a text message and as you can see I did not open up my phone or anything there's the IP address of my phone um actually that's that's the IP address of my uh, home internet right now. Great. Please, please don't try to <clears throat> DDoS me or anything. So let me just kind of show you what what my phone shows. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, <laughs> that's the email address it came from. So basically, yeah, I got a text message. Um, I'm using uh, Google's messaging app so google doesn't actually prefetch the messages or this messaging app doesn't prefetch the messages but message plus is still running on this phone and uh because of that message plus will still intercept the messages and uh i don't know i mean just the fact that it's it's running in the background it's not my default it's not my default application that I use for messages, but it's still running and it's still prefetching the messages. So that's kind of an issue. Uh, there was there was a um, more of a major issue in the past where you could turn off message prefetching and it would still do it. Um, I haven't used Message Plus in a few years, but it's it seems like they they're still having issues with it, where it even though it's not supposed to be intercepting my messages, it still is. So the only way uh, to to fix this right now is just to disable it, um, and this will actually make it. Uh, you know, let's stop it too. This will actually prevent it from prefetching your messages and divulging your IP address. Um, and like it's, it's it's not a huge thing uh, divulging someone's IP address or you know, uh, but if if you're one who doesn't like to be tracked. Uh, turn off Message Plus uh, because someone can literally just send you a text message and get your IP and um, kind of track you down if, if they have any reason to. So like I said, not a huge thing, um, but it's just kind of a, an annoying thing that I want people to be aware about. I, I emailed 
Verizon about this a couple years ago and it basically didn't get any response back. So if you have a Verizon phone, if you have Message Plus on your phone, go disable it right now. Uh, stop it, disable it. Um, and if you if you decide that you want to use it, uh, turning off prefetching may or may not actually prevent it from prefetching. Uh, like I said, I haven't used it in a while, but um, depending on the release, I know I know I did some tests after a, a specific release and it stopped working. But who knows? Um, things like this can pop up again in future releases. So just something to be aware about. All right. Have a good one.